Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kinyevsky. From St. Louis to Wichita, that's where the IAM's America's Edge Tour headed next. To see the faces and hear the voices of those people who have made Wichita the air capital city of the world. Happy and healthy kids, a nice home, a good job. That's what matters in Wichita. And in a city that's teeming with aerospace talent, the workers know to keep this lifestyle means to train the next generation. There's just something about watching a plane take off and knowing you had something to do with it. You know, that whole doing something with your hands. Not all of us can be out college educated. Not all of us can be office technicians and, and senators like in the governor. Not all of us are, are going to end up in those positions. So we need to take the time to spend the money on the VOTEC, to spend the money on the recurrent training, and to get the job done. In a packed room at District Lodge 70, hundreds turned out to listen and find out what they could do to make sure their kids are taken care of long after they're gone. It was a message brought to them in their own words. Just the way that aircraft plants update machinery and equipment, so you're ready not for this line, but the next line. So you're prepared, you make that investment, so you're ready to bid on the next 10 jobs along the way. We've got to do that same thing with human capital. The state of Kansas has worked hard to get where it's at. In fact, the aerospace industry is one of the few businesses that's looking for talent these days. The state is doing its part. But with very little federal money being siphoned to vocational and technical programs, that could cause a quick problem for the aerospace industry. Just in Wichita alone, I've heard 4,500 job shortages because we don't have skilled labor or people that can step up to the plate and move in. Everyone in this room wants to change that. Those who are involved and support the IAM's America's Edge Tour realize the most important money ever spent is on our kids and the future. Our responsibility here tonight is to make sure that this is a country that will always make things. This is a country that will build things. This is a country that will inspire other nations to make and build things. This is a country that basically is the greatest nation on earth because of men and women like you. There are some people who like to use, to read, uh, and to uh, make their contribution by speech and by talk and by head. And there are others whose skills lay in their hand and their heads in what they create, in what they can do, in what they can um, improve upon. And that's what the machinists do. But that story doesn't get told. Now is the time for the machinists to make sure that story gets told. Like most life lessons, the education starts at home. And the men and women in this room plan to take this message to their kids and their grandkids. That is, if they haven't done so already. I think we can set forth a trend where working with your hands is a respected thing again. I think we can do it. Kansas Governor Sebelius says her state is invested in the Aircraft Technology Center planned for Jabara Airport. She knows this facility is going to help train the next generation. They plan to break ground on the structure in spring of this year. For more machinist news, you can log on to goim.org. Thanks for watching.